everybody, welcome back. I've got a uh, new journal to share with you that I have just completed. It's been a little while since I've, um, you know, created a journal, so I was glad to get some time to finally spend in my in my studio. So this is what I came up with, and um, the inspiration behind this is Susie from uh, Shabby Soul. Uh, everybody knows, I think if you've been following me, you know I absolutely love uh, Susie's work. She's just an amazing artist. So I give credit to her. Um, I've tried to spend a little bit of time <coughs> recently trying to catch up on, on some of my videos. I'm way behind on that because I just took, you know, quite a bit of a break from social media. Just needed to do it for my own state of mind. Um, but I've spent some time um, watching Susie's channel lately, and it really did inspire me to get back in. So thank you so much, Susie. Um, you really kind of pulled me through um, kind of a down, you know, uh, just a, a period where I just could not um, get in here and create anything. So um, I do appreciate it. And uh, so, yeah, I'm behind on, on a lot of my... Um, ladies journals so I'm hoping to catch up over the next month or so um, on uh, some of the people that I follow so it's got a sari uh, silk closure um, and then this is a fabric with um, an old doily I've done a lot of stitching and then the cover is just layers of little bits of uh, laces and trims and I've got some burlap back there an old safety pin um, frame, then the image, and a little metal piece here. So that's the cover. And then when you open up inside, I went ahead and did the same <coughs> fabric on the uh, inside here. And so you've got this tag on the front here, and then just a little snippet there with another fabric pocket. So yeah, I've done a lot of stitching inside of this, um, lots of little tuck spots and journal cards. Um, I can't, I don't know off the top of my head how many pages are. I did this a couple of days ago and this is the first chance I've had to do a, a flip through. So um, you'd have to check the description um, how many pages there are. A little tag here with an old... Um, this is, I think, English to German dictionary page. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. And then here I've just made, I got a little tiny ticket that I stamped there. And then this was just some extra, um, an extra piece of paper. And I just stamped there and then did some stitching along there. A little paper bag here and did some stenciling. I've tried to do a lot of stenciling in this journal because I just uh, I think it went really nice with this. Here I've done a kind of like a Franken page and I made it into a pocket there and then this one is a index card that I've backed it with uh, an image that was printed out on vellum and then I just had the little um, hole so that it's peeking through. I just love the way that came out. And then I added some little off cuts to the top here so that's just peeking through. And then a little safety pin here with a little, um, oh, I forget what these are called. Ah, oh, I don't know. My, brain, my mind's just gone blank. <laughs> this is some of that Tim Holtz wallpaper. More stenciling here and another, I've done some stamping here and then another bit of fabric up there. So some more snippets and then another journal card here with a little charm and some old lace. Using my um, Stampin' Up! tab punch that uh, Andrea gifted me. I've been using that a lot. I love it. It's so nice to have that. I've wanted that um, punch for years and years and years. So thank you again, Andrea, for that. Okay, so on this side here, I've made a belly band. 
And then just a journal card that on the back I've made another little pocket here. Added another little tag inside there and that's been stenciled as well. Another little page here. And then this one, I've just made a double pocket here with a tag, and then this has got several little, little bits here, and that's some fabric I've stamped on and made into another little tag there. So this one is just a tiny little envelope that I've Add a little journal card in there, and that's just been pinned on this little uh, French German pa uh, French page here. Some more vellum, and then this was uh, some journal cards I did some time back, where I came back with some modeling paste and a stencil and did that. I love how those came out, and I just added another little butterfly that I've been gifted during my um, friendship journal challenge. I was gifted that, so I added that. And then this one is just a little double pocket here. A couple of other places you could do some journaling. And then this little double tag is tucked in there, and then this flips over. So there's extra writing space there as well, and that can be kept secret. So this is the center of the signature, just a couple of little heart cutouts there. And then this is one of the um, slotted, stitched, stitch slot um, dies. And I always get tongue-tied when I try to say that. And just various little journaling cards and things there. And again, some more of that uh, vellum just backed onto that um, index card there. And a couple more little tags for my stash. And then sometime back I did these little circle uh, tucks that uh, have this little little circle journal card that's tucked in there. I love how that came out on the vellum. More stenciling. And then I did a um, tutorial for how to create these little clusters as well. Those are all in my playlist that's um, it'll be in the description box if you want to find these tutorials. Another little journal card and another tiny envelope with another little journal card in there that you can do some writing on the back. And then here I've just done a little snippet here with some lace, a little bit of burlap, and another little flower with an old um, mother pearl button. And then another journal card here that's tucked into this. I love the colors in this. you got a lot of pinks and greens. I just, I love that combination. And then here, um, another little bit of extra paper just tucked away. Tiny little weekly planner where you can journal on the front and the back of that one. And then another um, um, tag that I've created. Again, this tutorial is in the playlist on how to make these. And then uh, here I've got a snippet. Um, I did a tutorial for these as well. And then this is a... Um, little journal card that um, Robin Robin House, I believe that's her last name, Robin Dudley House, I think. Um, she's here on YouTube. I took a course from her, and um, one of the bonus um, 
that we got from that were these hand painted um, letters that she does. So she gave you some digitals of those and I just ran across these the other day and thought I'd tuck that in there. I tried to do this with Robin's tutorial but I, I couldn't master it. Um, her work was beautiful but I tried and I just um, I just don't have the patience for it now so I gave up on it. But, <laughs> but it was nice to have hers because hers came out absolutely gorgeous. And then here um, I've done a little doily pocket and then a, a little tag there that's been stitched around you can see and some little lace and uh, button and then this is just a little charm and a bulb pin and some extra scrap uh, fabric that I've got yeah you get these um, this is just journal journal card I made for this little pocket um, yeah, I'm sure if you're a crafter you know what I'm talking about you see these tutorials and think, well, I can do it because they make it look so easy. And um, and I just, some things I can pick up on, but um, it, and it's funny too because I used to paint, but I just don't have, I, I don't have the interest in trying to go back now and pick those things up. I wish I did because I love it. I love to, um, to see the things that are hand painted, but I, I just have to, you have to draw the line somewhere, and if it doesn't give me pleasure anymore, I just, I don't, I don't spend the time on it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but gosh, I've tried so many. Um, I've got calligraphy. I'd love to be able to do that, but uh, there again, it's just, I'm not enjoying it, so it's sitting in a drawer as well. So I just think it's just best just to go ahead and do the things that I am enjoying, which is the journal making and stamping. I love, I still love stamping and card making. And this is just a couple other little tags and things that are tucked into this pocket. So yeah, I, I guess when you reach a point at the age I'm at, you just think, well, well you know, the time is valuable and I want to spend it doing things that I'm enjoying. So... I just have to give up on those other things and just enjoy the ladies who can do them and um, you know hopefully I can run across some items. The calligraphy, I really would love to run across somebody that's doing more of that in digital that we could um, could purchase that. So I feel like there's a real gap in the market there so if you've got a talent for that maybe you'll come out with some digitals that we could, um, could use because I would love to see some nice handwritten words that we could just print and cut out and use in the journal for those of us who can't do it so <laughs> there's a business ideal for somebody <laughs> yeah that was another thing I thought I'd love to dabble around with with uh, digitals I, I just I'm not a person that can sit in front of that computer I think you guys have probably figured that out by now so here's another little mini file folder that I stamped and just collaged and then I've included this old it's a 1912 um, French, I guess this was some sort of check or something. It looks like a check. Isn't it beautiful though? And this is original guys, this isn't, I've got, um, I've still got a few of these left on, on a big job lot I bought at a flea market a couple years back and I'm just dwindling down the supply. So that's a genuine, and then this little postcard, um, I mean not postcard, what am I saying, this old receipt, I just did some collaging on that. So um, I don't know why, but I, I've got, I'm going to add a couple of little vintage photos as well um, that I've got for my stash that will go in here as well. They're just the little tiny ones. In fact, let me just grab, I've got them handy. Here's a couple of them. I'll just tuck those in as well. I'm thinking these are probably around 1950s. Um, they're from France. And uh, I don't know. I acquired these somewhere along the way. And I'm just getting so much stuff, guys. I'm, I'm just going to tuck these in there. And those will go along with this as well. So, um, so I have named this journal Hope because I think... 
it's really appropriate um, for the time that we're living in. It's, it's quite a challenge for some of us uh, getting through you know what we're going through at the moment so I just thought this was a good thing. Hope. So Hope is going to be for sale in my shop if you're interested. Um, there's a link in the description box that will take you to my shop. I don't sell on Etsy so it'll take you over to my website and if this is still available you will find it in there. If not you will see a description that says I'm busy making journals so that's how you can tell if I've got something for sale or not but I do also do custom orders so if you <coughs> have ever seen anything that I've done that you would like to purchase you can always uh, contact me through my website and uh, we can discuss you know me making a journal for you um, if that's something that you're interested in. I can't always duplicate. Uh, I never do the same thing um, exact because it's impossible with the, with the materials I work with. So, But I can get something fairly close if I have the supplies. But anyways, hope is for sale. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. This one is about... Uh, I don't know, about four and a half by... Six and three quarter, and you can see it's pretty chunky. That's about three inches. I packed it pretty full, but I just love this size. I don't know, and I'm just partial to the smaller ones. I always have been. I uh, just love them. But I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope everybody is safe. I hope you're having a great weekend, and um, yeah, keep smiling, guys. And I'll be back very soon. Remember, I've got that. Um, I've got a journal that I'm giving away. If you haven't seen it, um, this is the Christmas Journal or December Daily, whatever you want to call it. I'm giving this away to my subscribers, so if you haven't entered, check out the video for that because uh, I'm drawing this on Friday. So be sure and join, and I will see you guys here very soon. Take care. Bye.